Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to work out this problem where we're finding the distance from a point to a plane. So here we are given a point and the equation of the plane and we want to find the distance. When we mean distance, we do want to mention that it's the shortest distance from the point to the plane. So let's suppose an illustration. So here I have a plane and we want to find uh, the distance. So let's say this is the point Let's call it p, coordinate 0, 1, negative 1. And we want to find this distance right here. So uh, let's call this d. Now here's how we're going to work this out. So suppose you know another point on the plane. And here's the normal vector of the plane. So I'm just going to try to make it straight. So this vector is perpendicular to the plane. So we call this the normal vector of the plane. And we're going to create a vector from the point to this point right here. So we're going to create a vector. Now let's find out what this point is. Let's call it Q. So you will find this point by plugging in some values for X, Y, or Z. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in X equals 0, Y equals 0, and solve for Z by using this equation. So if you set Y to 0, you have negative 2Z is equal to 12, so z is negative 6. So we know we have a point on the plane, which is 0, 0, negative 6. Okay, great. Now, how do we find this vector? Well, this vector, uh, q to p, you can find it by subtracting its component. So its component will be 0 minus 0, that's 0. 1 minus 0, that's 1. Negative 1 minus negative 6, that's 5. So that's the vector uh, q to p. Now here's what we're going to do. We want to find distance d. Now here we're going to create a right triangle so we can derive the formula. So let's suppose we have theta, which is between these two vectors, the normal vector and the um, vector q to p. So d is this right here. So this is the same uh, distance that we see here is the same thing that's right here. So we're going to use our uh, component projection to find this distance d. So we know d is going to be the component projection of the vector q to p onto the normal vector. So that will be the length of this projected vector, and we just need the component of it. So, um, so how do we find this? Well, this is going to be uh, the magnitude of the vector qp times cosine theta, because that's how the sites are related. And since I know the normal of this plane, I'm going to go ahead and multiply it by the magnitude of the normal vector. So then this gives me um, the magnitude of qp times the magnitude of n times cosine theta divided by the magnitude of n. Now you should recall that this is a definition of our dot product. So we have the dot product between the vector q, p, and n divided by the magnitude of vector n. Now we want to take the absolute value of that since we're looking at distance. So that's how you're going to find the distance. Now working it out is very easy. So let, we know the vector q, p. So that's this one. That's what we're going to plug in right here. Now, n is the normal vector of this plane. So we know the normal vector, it's going to have component x, 0. The y component is negative 4, and z would be negative 2. So that's our normal vector. And that's what we're going to plug in right here. Take the dot product and divide by its magnitude. So this is equal to uh, an absolute value. So qp is the vector 0, 1, 5, dotted with the normal vector, which has component 0, negative 4, negative 2. And we're going to divide that by the magnitude of n. So that's going to be the square root of 0 squared. That's 0, negative 4 squared plus negative 2 squared. And then this will give us, so on the numerator, we um, do the dot product. So we have 0 times 0, that's 0 plus 1 times negative 4, that's negative 4, plus uh, negative 2 times 5, so that's going to be negative uh, 10. So we're going to take the absolute value of that divided by the square root of 16 plus 4. 
and this will give us uh, 14. We took the absolute value of negative 14, and on the denominator, you get square root of 20, which can be simplified. So this is 14 over um, two square root of five, which simplifies to seven square root of five. So that's the distance from that point to the plane.